Hey guys, welcome back to Memo Makes. This time we got a 2016 or 2017 Nismo Edition 370Z. We're going to be putting in a stereo system in it, a uh, mid level, uh, low budget, mid budget stereo system. We're going to add this to the factory stereo system, so no stereo replacement. It's going to be a five channel amplifier. Um, factory speakers, we're going to keep the factory speakers, they are very good. We're just going to amplify them, make them sound a little bit better, cross them over so that they don't play any bass, and we're going to be adding a subwoofer in there. Uh, we're going to need a good quality sound processor, you'll see it in the install there, it's the LC6i from Audio Control, and we're going to be using a best res bass restoration device. So uh, stick around, hope you like the video. Like I said, it's a clean install on a very nice car. She's very dirty when we got it. So, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. But uh, hope you liked the video. Stick with us until the end. And check out some of our other stuff. All right, y'all, she's dirty, but you can tell what it is. 370 Nismo. Bam. We're going to do a stereo system in it. All right, guys, so this is the rear hatch area. Give you a shot of it there. So we took out the spare, the subwoofer that goes on top of the spare, the plastic panels here on the sides to be able to remove a plastic piece, not a plastic piece, one of those foam pieces. This goes in here like this. And then the floor, the floorboard covers that. So this is the area where the amplifier is. So I was online for a while and uh, everything seems to th think, all the uh, pictures, drawings, have the amplifier under here, it wasn't. It's under here, which is in front of the spare tire, not to the left. Most um, forums on these 370s, they say that it's under here, it is not, it is under there. Now I already went ahead and removed the bolts that mount it. You have to take off a strut brace that goes across here. Uh, it's not a strut brace because the struts are up here, but it's a body roll brace. Uh, then you remove four 10 millimeter nuts that are on here. Now you have access to the Bose amplifier. There it is. And I've already gone through and uh, selected which speaker wires we're going to have to tap into. What we're going to do is take the signals from the amplifier, which are separate. They are separate signals for front speakers. Um, the front speakers for the doors are considered mid-bass woofers, and the dash ones are considered tweeters. So these up here play the high end. These play the mid, and then the subwoofer in the back, well, it plays the very low bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those signals, we're going to convert them using an audio control LC6, LC6i from audio control. I'll try to have the link in the description. So what this does is it takes low or bass and high or tweeter and then it sums them together or adds them together and brings them out as an RCA output that we could then take to the amplifier then go to the speakers from there otherwise your speakers would either play mid or play tweeter so you want the speakers to play everything so you gotta sum the channels through that and what that also does is it converts the signal from high output which is a speaker type output to an RCA type output so we're going to add that, the LC6i, we're going to be adding a Blaupunkt bass enhancement. Most people know these as epicenters. This is a bass enhancement device that most people refer to as an epicenter, but it's made by Blaupunkt. It's very good. I would say it's just as good as the original audio control epicenter. Okay, so that was an exaggeration. Nothing is as good as the original epicenter. This one is still pretty good though. And we're also going to be adding a DS18 amplifier, which just so happens to match the car black with red stripes. 
Now that's just a coincidence, all right? <laughs> Don't go thinking this amplifier has anything to do with Nismo or anything like that. So we're gonna be adding that. We're also gonna be adding a kicker subwoofer in its own enclosure, in a uh, kicker subwoofer enclosure. And so I'll show you some of the wiring when we get to it. Up here in the front under the hood, guys, we've got the battery. Just take off the lid from here, just two little snaps and it comes right off. We're gonna grab power from the battery, take it all the way to the back there. Uh, we're going to go through the firewall through uh, one of the rubber grommets. If there isn't one available around the area where we're going to work on, we will look for one on the opposite end, wherever we got to go through to keep it watertight. And then we'll go into the cab and then we'll route it to the back. All right, so this is the base for the amplifier. There's the amplifier there. What I want to do is I want to mount this amplifier here and... Uh, it does not allow me to do that because you see these screws, they stick out proud beyond the, uh, beyond the base. You see that there, how they stick out? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them off right at their ends there so that they don't stick out and that will allow me to flatten, flat mount the amplifier there. So there's going to be some overhang so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a plate that goes here and then allows that extension to come out and then the amplifier screw to that or with some L brackets or something like that. Something that'll just keep it on there nice and sturdy. Alright, so with the amplifier mounted, or partially mounted, then we can take some measurements to make those brackets out of that steel. One eighth inch steel. M12 Hagsaw with the Waitley 6.0 battery. I almost cut it and I'm supposed to bend it. Alright guys, so we went over there and we bent this piece. We cut it one and a half inches on this side then whatever's left on this side. I gave it three and a half inches so I know that this bend would have Still enough space to come out. So now we mark where that bolt is, and we've got us a leg for it. And you see that that's the angle on it. And then we're gonna screw that one into the amp, and then we will screw it onto the base. Little bit of deburring here, so Memo doesn't cut his fingers. Now we'll screw in the amp to the base that we made, or the L bracket. So there she is, all screwed in to the uh, custom made uh, L bracket, or whatever you want to call that little thing. space for one of these back there there's there's space back there but there's different shapes that aren't going to allow us to put both of these in there so what I'm going to do is sandwich these now you might think that's not safe to do here's how we're going to handle that we are going to put these spacers up on these bolt heads or screw heads no these are actually bolts right there like that then this gets screwed in here 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 and here to the body and then this one gets mounted here and using long screws we're going to go through these slots 
and into these slots. Boom, 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 boom. And that's going to sandwich them. And they're not going to, you know, distort each other, damage the buttons or anything like that. So, should work out. All right, guys. So, we got some pretty glary sun stuff coming in here. See, that's the battery area. This is where we're going to mount the circuit breaker. There you see it better. Then the power wire. It's routed underneath that cowl. Comes back around. Then goes in through the firewall through a rubber grommet that's in there. It's a factory rubber grommet. Here you can see the amplifiers in place, the power wire, the ground wire, the remote wire, the subwoofer wire, the speaker wires are led in to the factory wiring. Then we've got over here, we've got these are the wiring connectors for the different processors that are going to go right here. And we're going to set those in place right there. Here's some more of the wiring done. We've got the Blaupunk base processor installed there. Got the RCA as it go to that. One of them comes out from the LC6, the other one goes to the amplifier. These are the connectors for the LC6, those are the inputs, that's the output to the subwoofer amplifier there, or the subwoofer amplifier output. There's the LC6, we're going to hook that up. Alright y'all, so there it is all hooked up. There's the LC6 on top of the uh, base restoration device. All the RCAs are in place, and that's pretty much it for the wiring on that. Quick shot guys, there it is all zip tied. That one's zip tied there. See that little square there? That's a zip tied to the other one. Now we're gonna tuck that in, zip tie that to this here. Zip that to this wire here. This wiring bundle here. We'll do that off camera. So now Memo's gonna put in the plastic pieces that go on the cow. I will do this fast so that you don't get bored with it. So now we got the amps in place, the amplifier in place, the processors in place. We're going to go ahead and button up everything that needs to go here. We are going to start with the cross support. You see it there it's all set up there's a the support bar the amp processors everything's all buttoned up everything's tucked you don't see no mess of wires nothing like that that's not how memo rolls This is what's known as overkill. A carpet 
to protect the carpet to protect the liner. So, you've got this carpet protects this carpet, and this carpet protects this liner. First one makes sense, second one, I don't know. Kicker comp, 12 inch sub, vented enclosure, that means there's a port in it. Pretty good sound. It's not top of the line, but it's no piece of junk. So, this is a very good woofer box, truth be told. There she is guys, she's very dirty, but she's done. Factory stereo, amplified system. We had the epicenter control knob right down here. Because we had no good place that we could install it, um, that would look good. Uh, these look like good places to do it, but because of the way the back of them is constructed, we couldn't mount it there. You know, not in a good way either here either, because once again, the way this is built behind this panel here. So that was our best location. So the stereo reads the USB very slowly. Again, the audio doesn't come through real well, so we'll just show you that everything works, you know. Again, guys, I have to apologize to you because of copyright law or policy in YouTube. We are going to have to sound over anything that's copyright music, which is pretty much any music that's out there. I am working on trying to get some of these vehicles in so that we can use some of YouTube's non-copyright music so that I can give you a test it doesn't play through the audio when you record you know there's no quality in the sound that you can hear through this video that will represent the stereo system when you're sitting in the car so we'll just have to well you'll just have to take my word for it it sounds pretty good it is what it should be realistically for what we put in it we got plenty of volume on it so we'll just leave that alone for now Again, everything back here is nice and clean. That subwoofer is in place. All the panels are back in place. And that's it. You know what? I can't remember if it's this is 2017 or 2018. Nismo Edition 370. She got those nice rims on her. Yep. So I know there's a lot of Nismo guys out there that are really into these cars. Uh, maybe you would have done a, a higher end stereo system, but you know, this is just what the customer wanted. They wanted a uh, good working uh, mid budget stereo system or low budget. You may call it low budget, uh, but it's done properly. It sounds good. And that's that. There it was guys. I hope you liked it again. It was a, uh, Pretty good install we took the time to hide away the uh, amplifier the bass restoration device the sound processor the LC6i um, on a cleaner install you do take the time to do th something like that on a basic install you just install them somewhere a space that's available you know maybe under the seat sometimes if they fit uh, sometimes on a panel sometimes directly on the box you know to save time and to save the customer money, but this install did merit a little bit of extra work. So we went ahead, took the time to do it a little bit, a little bit better. I hope you liked it. Check out some of our other stuff. I'm gonna try to have the links for you in the description down below. 
Um, again, you know, our channel is new. Subscribe, share with a friend, help us grow. See you on the next one.